Hi guys, Brown here and welcome back to the F1 2021 My Team Career Mode here today for part 2 at the Spanish Grand Prix It's not the greatest track for overtaking is it but hopefully it can be a better one in the background you can see qualifying if you missed the last episode in Bahrain I can link it down below in the description and in a card in the top right of the screen into Spain like you can see we're up on our first time I went for a second run but absolutely binned it in the barrier but we've improved and let's get into the race Welcome along then to what promises to be another fascinating Spanish Grand Prix. A race which saw Max Verstappen win on his first ever appearance with the Red Bull team in 2016. This after the dramatic coming together of Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg on the first lap. Will we see more moments for the scrapbook here today? It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down to turn one at this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high speed excitement to be found, including the flat out turn three and the terrifying blind right of turn nine. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Ricardo, Lando Norris and Verstappen, Sainz, Vettel, Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon, Gasly, Perez, Yuki Tsunoda and Raikkonen, Mick Schumacher, Giovinazzi, Marcus Armstrong, and Nikita Mazepin. Brown, Russell, Stroll. They've taken a grid penalty. And Nicholas Latifi. And now it's time to head down to the track. So then here come the five red lights for starting P19. And it's lights out and away we go. And we've got a shocking start as you can see in the bottom right of the screen. But can we recover? It looks like it's been a good start from the Mercedes out in front. There's loads of dust like there was again in Bahrain. We could have sent it down the inside into turn one. We've gained a couple of positions back. Heading now through there's a Mercedes and Red Bull and Ferrari. Side by side run the back of the Williams of George Russell. Can we get George into the first corner, into turn four? Maybe no. He cuts us off, but we're still there. Can we go back to the inside or maybe have a look around the outside? We're going to cut to the inside and maybe get our teammate as well. No, we're going to have to hold on, but we do. Get George Russell up the road. Is Antonio Giovinazzi in the Alfa Romeo. You can see, though, just how good our start is that we've got. Um... Well, ish, we've recovered from the start, we're up, we've gained one place into P18 and now we're going to try and send this on Giovinazzi and he's pinched us into the apex of the corner that doesn't exist anymore because it's a sweeping corner. Um, but this is a replay of my shocking start. I'll give you some context here. I wasn't actually looking at my TV screen. I was looking at my wall next to it i don't know why and then obviously the lights went out and i just sat there for 10 minutes on the back of us though is stroll stroll i think crofty said had a um grid penalty which is a bit concerning for aston martin bearing in mind it is only the second race but stroll cutting his way through that aston martin just it's a mercedes compared to the haas the williams and our car as well down the inside strolls goes 
and I think he's got the job done, yes he has. And he's going to go on to probably cut his way even more through the field. But because this is Spain, not a lot really happened after that. But apart from those doing the two stop, making their first stops of the day, Bottas, Verstappen and Lando Norris and there's Sebastian Vettel as well. And this is where it's going to get frustrating again if you think back to Bahrain last time out. This is the part of the race that cost us when we're just trying to run our own race. We were just about staying in touch with Giovinazzi. But here comes the faster cars to ruin the, the, the display. And Charles Leclerc is absolutely done. George Russell, they're round the outside of turn four. I don't think there was any need for that, um, Charles. And now Charles is going to try and do us round the outside, but we open up the steering and force him wide. And now look how look how much he's dropped back. And now down the inside comes Charles Leclerc into turn one and it's dropped them for him. But really gonna make it too difficult. Because we've got to run our own race, we're nowhere near that Ferrari. Anyway, I think he was in P2. But now skipping on further round the lap and there's uh, uh, there's the fraud of Valtteri Bottas driving a car he shouldn't be in because George Russell should be in it hopefully next season George will be in it but we defend Bottas for now because I'm going to fight him hard because I'm not really a fan of Bottas I'm a Mercedes fan, I'm not a Hamilton fan but I think Bottas is overstayed as welcome at Mercedes not that he's a bad driver he's just not consistent enough at the top Enough of real life out of the way. Let's get back into the actual race. As Lando Norris, Daniel Ricciardo, overtakes us. And this is literally every every one of these cuts is going to be someone dive bombing me. I'm just being mugged off left, right and centre. This time it's Max. Max just absolutely did us try to do his round the outside. Then we ran wide. And here comes Sebastian Vettel. We're literally, this this is rape. We're literally being done. Left, right and centre. What can I actually do in this circumstance? We're, we're literally an actual boat. There goes Carlos Sainz down our inside. And now here comes... <laughs> here comes Fernando Alonso. The other Spaniard. And wait for it, wait for it. And here comes the other Red Bull of Sergio Perez down our inside. So through the chicane, and we've gone very wide, and that would not be allowed to wait. We just cut over the chicane, but George follows us into the pits as well. Um, but the faster cars now have got past us, which is a good thing. We don't have to worry about them anymore gonna go I want an only stop I thought it was a bit early only only lap um lap 15 onto the hard tires and let's take these tires to the end the one stop um last year was very very OP around Spain because it is so hard to overtake it's basically a b-tech Monaco until we go there in the next episode for real as here comes George down the inside he was trying lap after lap behind us but we try and cut him back we're gonna switch back on George and now through the through the long turn three we've gone the inside of George but he's held it round the outside and into turn four Oh, we nearly get our front wing ripped off and give the Williams of George Russell a puncher and he forces us oh that was a bit that was a bit naughty George that was that was very close on the on the exit on the entry of turn four but a couple of laps later we were just aging closer and closer this time we're going to go to the outside but with it a bump with it a bump and we've gone off the track we've had to go to the, this game road while we was having a lovely trip through the gravel and that is very strange and after that i think we had some floor damage 
but we were just sat here lap after lap after lap you can see here lap after lap we were just sat here behind George Russell I couldn't get close because of the dirty air and I think we were struggling in a straight line after after that little incident across the gravel oh, so I think we definitely had some kind of floor damage now they ran the far wall we nearly made we nearly drop it as we lapped by Lewis Hamilton and Sergio Perez sneaked through as well he is actually this is for position so God knows what's happened to Perez in this race but he's had his stinker as well so that's another car between me and George Russell but they got through and as you can see here lap 32 we just still just sat behind George we could not get anywhere near him that only opportunity that we had a blue and went across the gravel but Lewis Hamilton wins the Spanish Grand Prix and we're gonna come home for a lonely P20 that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. So Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. What a race that was. Hamilton, Ocon, Sonoda, the top three. Yuki Sonoda getting his first podium in his Formula One career bit, bit of a boring race however though whilst I was recording the replay cameras my internet decided to die so and I got the digital version so it just completely just got rid of that entire race so this was the actual result very dull compared to what actually happened and I just no more handbot there very annoying I can't help it my internet blame Virgin Media not me it's awful and it and it was raining and when it rains it it's non-existent so hopefully my internet doesn't die again in this series we've got an interview with Will Buxton I will do that off camera and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.